Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. I greet all of you. Uh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana sana sana. My name is Bishop John Mukundi of Brainers Ministry. And I thank God to, uh, because of all of you and because of causing us to see this entire year, uh, 2023, and we are getting into another new year, 2024. Now, Christmas is a season for joy. Christmas is a season where we celebrate with friends and where we celebrate with relatives. And I thank God because he has caused us to see yet another Christmas season. Christmas when our Savior is actually born. And they were singing, Joy to the world, the Savior has come. Joy to the world and peace be on earth. That is what they were singing because of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to notice that the birth of Jesus Christ came so that, number one, he may liberate us from sin. The Bible says in Luke 19 and verse number 10 that the reason why Jesus Christ came was to seek and to save that which was lost. And I totally believe we have been lost in sin, we have been lost in many issues, and that is the reason why he came. But in 1 John 3, 8, the Bible says that the reason the Son of God was manifested was to destroy the works of darkness. And that is why today we are actually assured that he came so that he may destroy the works of darkness. Today, every work of evil, every power of darkness, every poverty within your life is destroyed just because of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. But the Bible also says in John 10.10 10, that the Son of God was manifested so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. That is why we are here to have life and have it more abundantly. In this Christmas season, you need to enjoy. There are several things that you need to do. Number one, you need to share with friends. Number two, you need to take this time to reflect on what has been happening throughout the year. Number three, you have to make sure that you know what you need in the next year. and Pray for it, commit it before the Almighty God. The Bible says we commit it, uh, we commit all our plans to the Almighty God in Proverbs 16 and verse number 3. This year, make a point that you are able to identify the mistakes that you did in 2023 and eliminate them in 2024. This is a season to reflect and this is a season to celebrate. Celebrate and do great things in life and also as you plan for next year. Otherwise, from me, the family of Reina's church and my own family and on my own behalf, I wish you a merry, merry, merry Christmas and a prosperous 2024 full of God's grace and full of God's goodness. God bless you.